Good morning again. This has been a very, very busy morning, but I'm excited to talk to this lady because she is going to help you address things that you never, ever want to think about, which are your finances as it relates to your business. Nobody ever wants to talk about that or think about it. Um, but it is probably one of the most important things that you need to be worried about all the time when you have a business. So um, I would like to first welcome, we have Kirsha Campbell here, who is coming to us from, uh, I think, the West Coast of Canada, if I'm correct. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's beautiful good to see you. And um, oh, excellent. Well, it's beautiful and it's it's much earlier for you. So we appreciate you being uh, very accommodating. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? OK, so I'm a certified management accountant, a chartered professional accountant with over 15 years experience in various industries, various businesses. I uh, seek to empower business owners to turn their businesses around with creative changes and customized solutions because every business is so different and their goals are so different. So the key is to get into what the owners, the managers, what they really want and make it happen. Yeah. Well, that's excellent. And I think as business owners, it's like I said before, I think we get really focused and you probably see this all the time. We're focused on marketing, we're focused on sales, we're focused on branding. And very few of us remember, okay, that we have to check the books, you know, so we either think we can do it ourselves and then we forget, or, you know, we wait too late and then we have to hire somebody that doesn't even understand anything about us. You know what I mean? Because when you own your own business, it's a whole different thing than if you're employed and you're, you know, you're kind of on a paycheck system. I mean, what are some, what are, what are some of the, the, you know, the things that people come to you that they get stressed about um, that you have to fix when you look at, you know, a small business? What are some of the common mistakes that some people make? Well, some of the key things are like not accounting for the items they own, their assets properly. Could be a laptop, could be a vehicle. They don't account for that properly. Another thing is that they don't track all their expenses so there are some expenses that are just not accounted for and then further down the road it does impact them right their taxes there are other deductions so many expenses that are just not accounted for and that can really that it's a real issue so that's one of that those are two of the things that people look at and the third another key thing is that they're mixing their personal expenses with the business expenses so it doesn't give a Ooh, true picture of what <laughs> the <crazy>. is. <laughs> it doesn't give a true picture of what the business is doing right so then you get so distorted so what's a, what's a good way to handle that is that two separate credit cards or what, what's what's the best way somebody can you know force themselves to keep better track um, one of the best ways is just to keep it separate. So keep your personal expenses separate. So you could, for example, give yourself a salary and allowance, and then you spend from that amount for your personal expenses and keep the business side separate because then there's, you get into so many other issues when it's not separate and it's not accounted for properly. Yeah, I guess so. And I think also um, you must see this a lot. I know I know I do with people. I think people forget that when you especially if you come from a corporate background and you're used to getting a paycheck all the time, what can happen is that when you have to save for, um, you know, paying your quarterly taxes and think people forget, you know, that, that, that that's going to come up. So they're just sort of taking their salary and they're not remembering that they have to hold back money, you know, to pay quarterly. I mean, would you recommend like, is there a system that people should be on to handle that? Because that's something I see all the time that people freak yeah. out and they, they spend all their money and they don't realize they have to pay the government, right? And then they yeah. wind up in a bind. For sure. So one of the one of the key ways to handle that is budget. So from the beginning of the year or when you're starting your business, you set up a proper budget. So you're going to have an idea of what are the likely expenses, what's the likely income. So you know along the road just how much you should be spending if you should really be taking a salary. Because sometimes as business owners, we start taking a salary too early, going on a vacation too early, expanding the business when it's just not the right time. So for sure, budgeting does help you with all that. And it opens your mind to so many other areas of the business that you just didn't think about initially, right? So budgeting is one of the key ways to help that. Sitting down, tracking what your income is, your projected expenses are going to be. 
Yeah. What is the, what is a good way to sort of, you know, you mentioned previously, um, you know, in our chat, financial health, what's, you know, because I think we all, are, we keep ourselves strong and we work, but we, we never kind of like look at, you know, the bottom line of the business. How do we know, even though money's coming in and sales are coming in, how do we know that our business is, is healthy? you know, and on the right track, what are some of the things to look at? And that, that's an interesting question because I had a client and she was making a profit and she was like, how is it that I'm here making a profit and I don't see the money in my bank account, right? <laughs> so <laughs> it's a very... It's my life. It's yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's a real issue. So two, two, two of the key things to look at when you're assessing your business health, what's what we call key performance indicators or signs. And also, simply put, if there's money in the bank, so you could have a profit, but it's not translated into money in the bank. And then that's, that's the real issue. So key performance indicators and check in to see if you actually have money in the bank because if you're you're selling a lot you're you know doing your marketing and it's not converting into cash in the bank money in the bank then there's definitely a red flag there something is wrong so that's definitely something you need to dive into deeper to see exactly what is causing that issue and for example if uh, you're making a profit. You have what we, I won't get, get too technical, <laughs> but you do have <laughs> like, there's some non-cash expenses. So for example, you might have certain employee benefits, certain taxes that are not accounted for properly. And that does affect if you have money in the bank. So the more you get uh, more detailed and diving into your business and the business health assessing it then you can know what will translate to having actual money in the bank and that, that's the bottom line right we all want money in the bank <laughs> yeah and i think you hit on a good point and also like being conservative i think like i have friends that started businesses and it's funny because like the money comes in and they're like oh look at this i have a bucket full of money here you know and they haven't realized they have to keep buying product, you know, to supply, yeah. whether it's a restaurant or whether it's, you know, business expenses to, you know, to keep going or whatever it is, you know, an online shop, they have to buy materials. They're not accounting for that. And I think like, you know, having someone like you on their side and a good accountant is, is so worth the investment. I think that's the best money you can spend because, you know, they're getting you on track. Lots of people think they can do it themselves. Um, and I'm sure you see a lot of that. I'm sure people come to you after they're like, it's it's like somebody thinks they can paint their house themselves. It looks easy, you know, <laughs> so yeah. it's usually a disaster if they try it. Um, what, you know, I always say, I mean, I, I don't know if you agree with this, but I think being really conservative in the beginning helps. And what's, I mean, do you think it's like, it normally takes a year for somebody to figure out their flow on, you know, cash flow, or I mean, what, you know, I, just so, for somebody who's stressing out there and saying, I can't get a handle, what's what's normal for somebody to, to sort of feel okay, you know, with how they're, they're moving things around? Um, it, it would you know? depend on the type of business and the business environment too, because different businesses operate differently and it takes them longer. So for example, if you're looking on a services business, then it might take a little longer to really grapple around what's happening versus a product business.